The first ever GAA World Games are coming to Abu Dhabi this week, but it's not all about the Irish. Oman Gales have no Irish players and they'll compete in an international section with the likes of Argentina, South Africa and Galicia. They are all further evidence of the spread of Gaelic games all over the world. Yeah, we are like we have a multinational team like he's Omani and Palestinian. We have Egyptian, we have uh, Canadians, we yeah, have Americans, Greekans. we have Spanish, we have Polish, we have <laughs> I mean you you name it. We are, we are a very good multinational team and we are That's all meet up in this sport, Irish sport. Yeah, and we do and think act, some active after we met at this uh this uh, like GAA and yeah. now we do activities outside yeah, and now it's really nice. Now Steph, yeah. she introduced to us as well the GAA as an organization of sport. Steph is Steph McQuaid, their coach from Ireland, who is the driving force behind the Gales. Well, basically, um, I learned to play GAA myself when I moved to the Middle East a couple of years ago and I had a lot of uh, Omani friends who were interested in the sport and uh, but had never played the game before. So we kind of put a team together, a club together to welcome all nationalities particularly from a non-GEA background and uh, somewhere that they could grow and learn the game in a, in a happy environment. And it is a happy environment. Everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. Yeah, they're loving it. I have guys now who played soccer all their lives who have given up soccer and are playing GEA. And these are Omanis. You know, they've never heard the game up until a couple of months ago. So it's fantastic to see. Uh, it's fun. It's a new game for us. Uh, and we really enjoy it. Like, more fitness as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Social, to honest, social too. To be honest, our background as well is football or soccer. But um, since Steph introduced this game to us, and uh, we find it's a very uh, fun game to play, and it's not any less than any sport to play, to be honest. Not less than football, not less than rugby, but not even not less than American football. So why not to give it a try or a shot? Yeah. And we find it quite fun and competitive in many different levels in sports, to be honest. And here we are now forming a team from a different nationalities. Yeah, in our sessions, we have something like train hard, laugh loud. It's always like, yeah, just... Yeah, so it's really a fun, a fun sport yeah, to play. So it's a fun sport to play. The moment we, uh, Steph, uh, herself leading this, uh, this club with us, and she uh, always wanted the sport to be fun. Uh, to comes first and we are always uh, coming from a big uh, competitive sports like we play football even yeah. in a professional level and we find it fun to play and we took it to a competitive le level and here we are now. Yeah. I saw a few of them explaining the game to one another and arguing almost about it in Arabic. Yeah, Arabic could be probably be our predominant language in the club so uh, we do a lot of Arabic on the pitch, off the pitch, even in training but uh, it's good, it makes us improve our Arabic so it's good. And what will the World Games coming here do for the game, do you think? Oh, I think it's fantastic. It will open people's eyes to people playing the sport outside of Ireland um, and people's passion and love for it outside of Ireland. Like, um, there'll be teams from all over the world travelling in for it and the Middle East, of course, will have a lot of good teams playing as well. And Alawi, you're not, you, you, you don't play in front. Okay, I will play in front and, uh, and you'll play in the back. And the we are preparing for this tournament. We are new in the sport. We are trying here to prove ourselves, although yeah, we know some players come from a diff Irish people playing it very well better than us, but we are trying to prove that wrong. We can uh, well, we also compete in that sport. From time we to can. time now, yeah. We can compete in that sport. It's, we are, and we are So will you become world champions? You uh, never know. You, <laughs> you never, never know. know you never know. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> we can do it, but I, I, I won't be... Uh, we just, yeah. It's we never true. know. You might have to go back to Oman and Palestine and explain to your family that you're a world champion in Gaelic football. Yeah, that, that would be, be awesome. really a, good, a big news to, to me. My family will be, will be proud. <laughs> uh, Gaelic football is not less than any sport, to be honest. And being uh, a champion in the World Cup, it means the world. That's why we're calling it the World Cup. I think it's the first opportunity to showcase how, you know, GA has become inclusive, not exclusive, to all nationalities, all religions, all over the world. And people are, are playing it, loving the game, and it's our opportunity to showcase it to the world. Why has that been important to show that? Because people do put in their heart and soul into it. It's obviously, you know, uh, an amateur sport, so people are giving up their time, their you know, their family time and their work or non-work time to play this game and to to 
play it passionately and competitively. And will you keep calm and will you be a proud GA queen? Oh, I will be a proud GA queen. I'm always proud of, uh, especially uh, our non-nationals playing. Very proud of them.